the New Zealand dollar has continued to bounce up and down against the US dollar over the last week and everything points to this continuing into the, the near future. The US decision to withdraw its troops from Afghanistan and President Obama's remarks about uh, time to concentrate on things at home is likely to strengthen the US dollar over the medium term. The relief from having to spend that vast amounts of money with massive troops uh, deployed overseas is likely to benefit the American domestic economy. On the Euro front with the Greek uh, crisis, the re-election or vote of confidence I should say in the Greek government, in parliament and the resolution at least in the short term of stronger austerity measures and further financing from the major Euro partners will relay or delay some of the concerns over bank investments there. I guess the key problem that hasn't been getting much of an airing is who holds the debt in these particular countries? Is it held by locals, as in the case of Italy, which does have a very large debt but owned mostly by Italians, or is it owned by foreigners? And so when you get cases like Greece where the majority of the debt is owned offshore, there is much more concern of, of regarding what will happen if there is default because that will ripple through all the other financial institutions and what we ca could possibly imagine, and it's not that far to, to imagine it, is a meltdown again of some major US financial institutions.